Hi, this is Sophie Andreo from Social Media Business Institute and from SophieAndreo.com. So we have now a new Twitter profile that you can take advantage of. It's available to everyone. So how do you take advantage of it? When you uh, first log into whichever Twitter account you're on, um, of course you're at home and you're seeing your uh, uh, everyone that's tweeting. So what's happening on this page, you see your background and you can now click on me. And when you click on me, you're seeing still your background and your current cover, your current uh, logo. So you can take a look and see what your profile would look like in the new uh, in, in the new look. So what's this new look like? Let's take a look. So I'm going to show you uh, Live for Trails, my dog Duke. He's uh, already updated his. So you can see there's this massive header. And that's what it's called. It's called a header. So you got this new massive header that applies. So as a business, let's look and see what I've done on my business one. Sophie and Drown Associates. Take a look at your business one. You can actually go in if you want and put in some marketing messages. So I, of course, do my keynote speeches. I do my seminars. So I have a photo of that. I've got my logo up here, kind of an image indicating what I help people do, and then my services. So you can take advantage of this huge header and change it any way you like. So there's a couple other things that are new with this new layout. You can, uh, people obviously can see your tweets, or they can click on this, which is kind of cool, and just see your tweets and your replies. So not just your tweets, but also your replies. So those things that normally go back to, uh, in this case, I replied to Carrie Davies. So now people can see your tweets and your replies or they can just see your tweets and and uh, basically um, uh, filter out your replies. Right now when someone goes to your home they're actually seeing your tweet and your replies. But in the new layout when they first go to anybody's uh, profile they're seeing now in the new layout just your tweets. So that's brand new. Um, another thing that's brand new is your they have this view you might say, oh, there's always a photo view, but this is different. It's basically a view of any tweet you've sent where you've attached either a photo or a video. So that's pretty powerful. I love this look. And if you basically wanted to send this look to someone, it's twitter.com forward slash whatever your handle is forward slash media. And that gives them that look. So that's kind of cool. So those are some of the things that are new. Well, so how do you make it happen? So how did, I, how did I get the new look? So when you first log in, and I've just logged in as Women's Business Network, Peterborough, uh, Women's Business Network of Peterborough, and you click on me, so then click on your me, and what comes up is this thing. It says, try the new Twitter profile. Take a look. So don't worry. if You, you can take a look, and if you're not happy with it, you don't have to convert right away. So take a look, and it'll show you, wow, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. So it took whatever my cover was from before and it puts it along the top. So you've got to be a little bit careful. It tells you that it's 1500 by 500. It lies. It actually isn't. Uh, what it actually does is if you were to take a picture or uh, an image that was 1500 by 500, it's going to cut out around 100 pixels at the top and 100 pixels at the bottom. So there's like about a 100 pixel frame around it. So um, it, it does lie. They'll, they'll get better at telling you the dimensions, but it's brand new. So how did we make this happen? How do we change this cover? Say for some reason we didn't want this cover, you know, well, what we do, or sorry, it's called a header now. You click on your uh, widget, and then you click on settings, and then under the settings, you go to profile. And on the profile, you simply click on change header, and I can remove it, or just click on upload a new photo. So let's say I want to upload a new photo from the from our April spotlight. So um, I have a few of them in there. I just want to get one that's not currently there. There, we'll upload this one. So all I do is click on open and now this new one. Now it's showing me what it looks like in my current view. Uh, and of course in my current view I can zoom in or zoom out. So this one's kind of nice. I'll say apply and uh, this is what it would look on my current view. If I click on me, this is what it would look like. This is actually a good one as well. 
uh, this is what it looks like in um, the new view. Or I can click on not now, simple as that, and it takes me back to the old view. So let me just show you what happens if you put in a header with words. Click on the um, uh, widget again, click on settings, and then I'm going to uh, uh, click on profile. From profile, then I click on change header. And I created one earlier, and I just want to show you. It's not you got to be very careful when you're when you're putting up words. So here's one, a new Twitter handle. I've made it to be exactly 500 um, uh, 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 wide. Sorry, 500 long by 1500 wide. So let's put that in there. And you see, okay, that should be perfect. It's not. It takes. It cuts out the side. So be very careful. So all you can do is make it. Uh, smaller you can't make it bigger so if I apply and I look at the new view to see what it looks like uh, let's take a look now I take a look at the new view it still cuts out the sides so you want to be careful when you're creating that it lies when it tells you it's 1500 by 500 because that was clearly 1500 by 500 so I think it, so you can add your marketing messages I think it's a good idea for now, I'm just going to go back to uh, I'm going to go back to my photo that I had up there because I really like that photo. What I'm probably going to do is take that photo and put our marketing messages over it, um, and uh, I think that's smart. I think that's what you should be doing too. So again, I went to widget, go to profile, change header, upload photo. So I'm going to go and find the photo from the April spotlight that we just liked. It was this one and then I'm going to move it around a little bit and uh, so gorgeous and then it's applied so now um, I'm going to go to me and so now that I'm on me I say got it I'm going to say turn it on now so now we're on we now on our the WBN of Peterborough we've got um, we have the new look so when anyone comes to see us now, this is what we're going to look like. Very nice. It's very stylish. It's very. It's a. It's a very uh, powerful header. So you want to think about what else you can put in that header. Put some imagery, but also put your marketing message. Okay, it's that simple. I hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial.